Well, indeed, it's not just the biggest financial merger that we've seen, but the biggest corporate merger that we've seen in the history of India, Inc. Now, what the news means is that HDFC Limited, along with its subsidiaries, will get merged into HDFC Bank. And the combined um, market cap of the entity has now surpassed, as of today, 14 lakh crore rupees market cap, which has surpassed even TCS, the second largest company's market cap as well. Now, once the deal is effective, HDFC Bank will be 100% owned by public shareholders and HDFC will own 41% into the merged entity as well. Now, remember, shares of both these firms rallied today very, very sharply post the news. In fact, ended 10% higher for both these stocks as well. The merger now also opens room for 7% more FPI holding as well, which is a positive. And another positive is that there will be management continuity here after as well. Because remember, KK Mystery will turn 69 by the time merger happens. And since the retirement age for the financial services industry is 70, it will be Mr. Shashidhar Jagdishan, the current MD and CEO of HD FC Bank, which will continue to uh, lead the institution as well. Now, remember, Deepak Parikh, who's the chairman of HDFC, said that this is a merger of equals and not a hostile merger, but and not a hostile takeover, but a friendly one. As well as Keki Mystery, who is the CEO of HDFC, believes that there will be several regulatory approvals that will be still awaited, including that of SEBI, CEC, CCI and stock exchanges, as well as the RBI as well. Remember, HDFC Bank's uh, market share post the merger will rise above 15% as well. And if you compare the loan book of HDFC Bank uh, with its second competitor, that's ICICI Bank, it was already at 55% more than ICICI Bank. And now with the merged entity, it will be more than 2.2 times as well. And it will inch closer to that of SBI's market cap and the loan book as well. Now, remember, HDFC Bank will now be able to have uh, more cross-sell opportunities just like insurance and how it will benefit HDFC Limited is that it will get an access to low cost and cheaper cost of funds as well. Going forward from here, this could be well the start of mergers and acquisitions to be taking place in the financial industry of uh, housing financial companies with their parent banks as well. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.